now you can see a huge difference. You can see the bright white from the fog lights, the LED fog lights. What's going on guys? I got another video today of a fog light install. So we've got the new one in. I wanted to go ahead and see. You can see just how bright that thing is. I wanted to go ahead and see if it was going to work because these are some Amazon specials. And I really wanted to replace the ones that were stock on there because they really didn't fit the theme anymore. If you look here on this housing, and we'll take a closer look at it. This has a, the stock sport housing light that came on the truck. And it's got the black trim pieces in it and everything. But the stock light that was in it, of course, with the age and the wear and everything, it's, it's now cracked, and so I ordered some off of Amazon. I'll, I'll drop the link down below and everything so you can see it, exactly where I got it and what it was. And we'll take a look at the install process. These, let me switch her. Here's the stock fog light, and you can see the cracks in it. It's probably just from years of use and then the heat from the stock bulbs and everything. I don't recall hitting anything. I don't think that was the problem. I think it's just probably the plastic and the, and the age on it. And then here is the Amazon special. So you can see it comes with two bright LED lights in it and it comes with the DRLs installed too. Now I'll flip this one back off so the light's not in our face and I'll show you how, how it all matches up and how it works. But overall, pretty happy with it. There are some issues that I'll go over and show you and the wiring and everything. But this is what we're putting in there and it's going to turn out look much better. Uh, but I'll, I'll show you all the process and, and how it all worked out. So here is a closer look at the installed light. You can see this white strip is the DRL strip, the daytime running light strip. And it looks really good. Uh, I'll show you, we've got to wire that up separately to the fuse box and I've already kind of got a game plan in store for it. Show you how that works. But here's here's one of the issues that I don't like. Because this lights so much, well, it's the same size, but the, the actual part of it that lights up is so much bigger. Let me show you on the one that's not installed. It's got this strip at the top also. So this strip at the top is also a DRL or daytime running light that lights up. And then you've got this other white outline strip here that lights up. And we'll show you that in the video here shortly. But this strip here is almost completely hidden, or it is completely hidden, behind the trim of the truck. Maybe not all bumpers are the same. I don't know. This is the stock sport edition of the truck. And so... Maybe on certain models, it's visible, but on this one, you, let's see, uh, let me get my light. Uh, sorry. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. See it up behind the plastic? So that is almost useless. You, you can't even see it when the truck, or, or when the light is on. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, but you can definitely see the rest of it and it looks good when it's lit up. So we'll finish wiring it and show you how it all looks with just the DRLs and the lights and everything. And I think overall it's going to be pretty good setup. Here's the other issue I wanted to show you. So I went ahead again and installed this one to see how it was going to work. I would suggest because it's got a, an alignment tab on the top to put the top bolt in first and that went in. And then you can get this bottom bolt in. But if you notice, again, maybe something's different with this model versus other models. But this bolt hole has no chance to even align and go in. The, the actual tab is behind it over here. So you could potentially, you know, drill this out or make it bigger, make it work. But honestly, I've got it in there with the two other ones. The wire, the stock wire and harness. Oh, well, the light died. The stock wire and harness works fine, and I'll show you the wiring in a second since my light keeps dying. Okay, since my light decided to die, we'll show you on the one that's that's not on the truck just yet. So it comes with a little pigtail that you can wire up to your stock wiring if, if this has been damaged or you have an issue or it's just not mating up correctly. But you can unhook this and unplug it, 
and then this will plug straight into your factory wiring so it's real plug and play but this wire is separate and this is what controls the drls and so this is what we're going to plug into a, a fuse tap in the fuse box to run this when the accessory power cuts on that way they'll always be on as long as the truck's running and we went ahead and tested that out too everything's working fine but i'll show you that process but but as far as the wiring is concerned you know obviously if you're buying these you probably want the drls to run but you don't have to you can just plug this straight in to your factory wiring and the the two regular led lights are going to work just fine like stock so no big problem there but it is frustrating that for this to be you know what it is and these were about 120 dollars i think again i'll leave the link below for you to check it out but you know you only got two bolts that worked perfectly and then this third one wouldn't line up uh, no matter what i did and i didn't really feel like trying to to adjust it or cut it or anything so uh, and then you've got your your adjustment height knob on this as well you can screw unscrew to adjust the up and down and and aim them a little bit better so we'll uh we'll take those three 10 millimeter bolts out from the other side pop the other light out get this one in and then we'll worry about wiring up the D the drls to the fuse box all right here's the three bolts out one in the bottom right lower left top left this thing will just slide right out you kind of have to angle it a little bit to get one side out and then to slide the other side out and then the whole thing will just pop right right down and out and there you go that's it and then there's the wire and harness stock wire and harness that just tucks up in here and then plugs back into the new one so we'll get that taken care of and then we'll we'll wire up the drls so the stock kit came with the pre-wired piece here for the DRL, and then it came with two pieces of wire. Now, obviously, the one that's closest to the fuse box will be fine. We've got enough, but it, the other side, passenger side, is nowhere near long enough to reach to that, that spot. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and tie this one in here, and we'll use this, and then I've got a spare piece of wire here that we're going to piggyback over to the other one and take care of that. So I'm going to work on wiring all that up now, and then I'll show you the fuse box connection. All right, so we got both the lights in. I actually found out how to get them adjusted a little bit better and properly. So there's the turn screw on the bottom of them. I'll show you on the existing ones that are all broke up. There's the adjustment screw to adjust them up and down. Well, these were all the way out and so this top drl light like i was saying earlier in the video was jammed all the way up in the top and there was a huge gap up here well once you adjust it well now there's a gap in the bottom and it brought all the drls back into view the correct way and same thing on oh, on the other side so now they're balanced better uh, we'll have to check them at night to see what the light output looks like out the front. But now the DRLs are where they're supposed to be. So I'll crawl back under there and show you the wiring and where I ran it. But now we've got this micro fuse tap, a uh, little adapter. Uh, they, I bought these off of Amazon too. And I've got both the wires from each light run up here and into the adapter. And so I've got just a little 10 amp fuse in here. And then you put the existing fuse in the slot too. And then I bought this little fuse tester or power tester so you can see which fuses are hot. So if we plug this into this tin, well, if I get my hand out of the way, you'll see the light comes on. So these are on all the time. But if I come over here to this 15, I don't know why it's loose, this 15 does not light on so that is only when the accessories or the truck is on so we want to find one of these that is not super so see that 25 is on right now so we don't want to tap into one of these or that 10 because we don't want them to run all the time obviously so we need to find a fuse that is only on like this this 20 here and also a fuse that's not super important to anything in case something 
goes wrong or it gets blown for some strange reason, you know, if it's an accessory or maybe a power outlet in the inside or something, obviously we don't want to use something for our brakes or or airbag system or some safety feature. So we're going to look at the the uh, listing here and in our book and see if we can find which one is which. Now also, you want to make sure that you've got your fuse tap routed the right way so the power is coming in on this side, running through the fuse, and then going out the other side. That way if the fuse blows, it'll interrupt the circuit like it's supposed to. If you have this backwards and the power comes in on this side, goes through the fuse and out the wire, it won't do what it's supposed to. So we need to test that also. I pulled this tin out to test, and this right side is where the power's coming from, and then this side is where it's not. And once that fuse is out, obviously it's good now, so the power's going through it, both sides. But once that fuse is out, if you plug this in, it doesn't light up. But if you do on this side, it'll still light up. So we need to check that, make sure we've got that right. So right now I'm gonna find out which fuse we're gonna tap, and we'll plug this up and see how it all looks. All right, we've got the, the fuse we wanna use now. It's this 15 amp fuse right here. And I've got it out and it's for the clearance lights. And so it's some sort of other illumination light for the clearance lights, but I don't have clearance lights. So it could be for the door mirrors also. I'm not, I'm not, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, but, but F79, I think is what it said. Yeah, ID clearance lights. Oh, well, if I had the camera correct. Uh, yeah, F79 is this fuse. Uh, and so it's a clearance light. It's 15 amp. So we're going to piggyback onto that one right there. I checked it while the truck was running, and the hot side is on this right side looking at it. It's on the right side. And so, again, we're going to take our fuse tap here, and we're going to put the hot side on this side. So if it blows the fuse, it'll interrupt before it comes out to the lights. So if we just plug that in like so, there we go. So that fuse is in there for the DRLs on the fog lights. And now we've got our normal light fuse in there as well for the original 15 amp for F79. And then we'll have to just see if we can close this or maybe snip out just the tiniest little piece right here for this wire so it doesn't get caught up in there too bad. And, um, and yeah, that's it. So I'll finish that and I'll show you the rest of the wiring and then we'll test it out. All right, and there's the wire and harness underneath. Comes off of this light. Piggybacks in there where we hooked it up earlier. Comes over the frame. Got it zip tied to this existing wire and harness all the way across. And then it goes up to the fuse box up top. And so that's it. Just the bolt, three bolts on each fog lamp to come out. They slide right out after you unplug them. And uh, of course, we, we're missing the bottom bolt on each one, but they're in there good. They're not going anywhere. It's just this kit, I guess, you know, I, I could have forced it, but I was afraid I was going to break something. So I thought it was better just to get the two main ones in, get them aligned, and then uh, just don't worry about trying to force that last third one. So there it is right there, and then we'll check out what they look like. Okay, so I had to amend my original statement after some more testing this fuse for whatever reason the clearance lights maybe because i don't have clearance lights it was coming on when i was doing some testing but then after i got it out here in the yard to really go over it once more and finish up with the video it it wouldn't come on anymore i don't know if there was just a certain condition or whatever but i found a new fuse here i think it's f65 was what it was and it's actually labeled as a spare fuse in the book and on the fuse box here so it's not going to hurt anything at all because it's just a spare and it was a 10 amp like what i had in here and it cuts on when the truck power is on and so the drls will run all the time as long as the power is on on the truck and so that's really what i wanted to have happen anyway so that is a much better situation i had to reverse it so now of course the wire is not like i originally planned because the hot side is now over on this side on the left and and so again you want it to run through the fuse and out through the wire and so 
I had to now swap it around where the wires going the other way and I notched out just a corner of the fuse box so the wires will go through it and I tested it out and everything works fine so uh, I'm gonna finish this part up and then we'll take a look at it and there we go it's finally all hooked up wiring wiring is correct this time the DRLs are on now that the accessory power is on the trucks running you can turn the truck off and it'll still run and so there's what the DRLs look like and then I'll flip the lights on and you can see what that looks like camera picks up a little bit of flicker because of the LEDs and the frame rate and whatnot but there's just the parking lights on on the headlights and there's the fog lights or the LED fog lights on with the DRLs running but again they aren't flickering it's just the camera and the and the frame rate so they look pretty good now we'll turn everything on and see what it looks like and there we go the headlights DRLs and the fog lights all on at the same time probably gonna have to upgrade the headlight bulb to a bright white bulb because now unfortunately they look a little yellow compared to the to the lights down here uh, now they're so crisp and clean but overall turned out really well pretty happy with it So that's it we're all done everything's buttoned back up and cleaned up and there they are running uh, i've just got the accessory power turned on in the truck so everything else is off but the drls will stay on now so we're good to go if you found the video interesting or it helped you out at all give it a thumbs up a like or whatnot and uh, if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing we do all kinds of upgrades my my truck my son's truck travel videos hobbies racing all kinds of stuff so you might find something you uh, like or find interesting so consider subscribing if you want to and I uh, hope y'all have a good day thanks here are the DRLs on at night by themselves just to give you an idea I know it's kind of hard to tell because the phone's gonna auto adjust the lighting on it but there's the DRLs by themselves and then we'll flip the other ones on and see what they look like there's the fog lights and the DRLs on at the same time just the parking lights on now so they light up pretty good just by themselves you can see I've got them aimed pretty low I can definitely raise them up a lot more might actually adjust them a little bit see if they'll they'll spread out and go even further because they are pointed pretty far down so let me turn on everything now you can see a huge difference. You can see the bright white from the fog lights, the LED fog lights. And then you can see the yellow from the regular halogen lights. So we're going to have to pop in some new headlights for, for those. You can see the difference in the yellow of the headlights versus how bright white. Let's see if I can click on it. Uh, not so much. Yeah, I can adjust the contrast, the brightness a little bit so you can see it. But yeah, so much brighter with these new fog lights and and the DRLs. So we'll see about replacing those bulbs in the top and try to see if we can get it to match a little bit better. But overall, pretty nice. I'm going to probably adjust the height of it, bring it up just a little bit so it'll fill in a little bit better between the fog lights and the and the headlights, but overall pretty happy with the results.